So here we are in Almada. We came over on that ferry over there. We're going to go and find the trams now, go for a tram bash and explore this side of the Tagus. There's the bridge over there. That's how we're going to come back, as I've already said. So I will finish over there, but now let's go and see the trams. So I think I've worked out where they are. As I said, there's a free tram route, so you've kind of... The, the line starts off, and then in the centre, one route goes left, the other route goes right. And then from halfway along one of the other routes, you've got another one. So you've kind of got a this shape system, if you know what I mean. So the, this is the ferry terminal. I just came out the ferry. There's people in that waiting room. They're waiting to get the ferry over to Lisbon. That certainly has a different feel to Lisbon over here. It's less touristy, which in a way I quite like it. I mean, Lisbon is really nice, but it's just so touristy. I kind of like to, when I go somewhere, I like to see the real country, not the um, illusion they create for tourists. So that's what I'm hoping to see more of here. And of course, I'd come here anyway, just because there's trams. And the trams are just here. There's a ticket office there for the trams. It's, they call it the metro. I can show you a map now. So we're here. So you've got one route that goes down there. Another route that goes down there, and then there's a route that also goes down there. So the plan is to go to all three termini and um, just see what we can see. I think I'm just going to get the first tram that comes along. So there's four, four tram stop platforms here, that's quite a lot. There's one, so these are route one, that's on route three, that goes to the university. So it's a Siemens Combino, it's got the numbers nice and big down there and up there, which is what I like. So it makes it easy to get the numbers. Some trams, places like Edinburgh, numbers are so small, you can't see them from much of a distance. They're sort of four car, they are four car units. Um, each set has two wheels. They're quite similar to the ones I've got in Budapest, except those ones have six segments. I've just noticed something over here. Let's um, leave the tram stuff for a moment and uh, let's do some um, marine history because I don't know anything about it but I've noticed a submarine and a sailing ship. There's another tram coming in as well, we'll see that. Let's have a look at this submarine. So we've got a tram just pulling in now. These are possibly looking at the track standard gauge. I'll check that because um, in Lisbon they're 900 millimeters, which is quite a rare gauge. Only Linz in Austria has them, but here they look to be standard gauge. They might even be larger. I'll find that one out. It's a bit like in Dublin because the railways are five foot three inches, but the trams in Dublin are the usual standard gauge. And here in Portugal, the railways, well, most of the railways are five foot six inches. So. I might actually be a bit of standard gauge track, I'll find out there. Let's have a look at this submarine here. Pretty impressive. Right, I'm going to go and board the tram. Time to for my tram bus. So here we are, we're on the tram run number C010, so just say tram number 10. I'm still not sure on the gauge of these, but I do know that the modern tram stroke metro in Porto a British standard gauge so there is actually some standard gauge um, in Portugal so I'd guess these are the same but I'm not entirely sure so if anyone knows then please do comment and tell me I'm just waiting to go we're going to the university so we're here so basically we're going to do that and then I'll probably get a tram back to here and go down there and I'll, I'll do the whole system I might finish those here and get the train back across to Lisbon, so in a minute we shall um, depart and explore the Almada Metro network.
So here we are at the end of Route 3, the university stop. A lot of students were travelling on the tram got off and a lot more got on. So the tram's now going back to where we stopped. find interesting about these places is to have a look and see what happens beyond here because the track does carry on so I think my guess is that it, this probably may, wasn't intended to be a terminus forever it obviously has been for a while now but I think at some point in the future they may well extend I know there are plans to expand this metro system at the terminus of routes one and two which we'll talk about when we get there but the tram we're on it came over into that side the rails look a bit rusty on this side so i don't know if they use it and you can see there's a piece of wood blocking the track up there but let's just walk up and see where it goes this must be the university in here it's very different to lisbon which i quite like um because it's it's not so touristy here and I feel like I'm seeing the real Portugal. So when I've been to some cities where, you know, you have tram systems, like when I went to Oradi in Romania, that was really nice because, you know, it's, obviously tourists are great as in they bring lots of um, money in, but I just like to see the real, the real country. So let's have a wander up here. It looks like the track probably just finishes when we get to the top of this hill, but for the sake of completeness, I like to do the whole network. I haven't seen yet either where the depot is, and I no doubt, well, there obviously is going to be a depot somewhere on this system. It's getting windy now. I think the track probably ends. So, it looks like we have come to the very end of Route 3. It does look like, though, you know, there's a potential chance they could extend it further that way if they wish to, so time will tell. I'm now going to walk back down and uh, get a tram back to the main part of the town, Stroke City, and explore the network further. I'm sitting on a railway line. You can see it's not going very far. Uh, it's a bit windy as well. The reason I've come to this little bit of railway line is I found something exciting behind me. A steam crane. And it's built in Britain. If you have a look here, you can see, built by Thomas Smith and Sons, Rodley, near Leeds, England. Quite a cool thing to find. I think the display on this roundabout is about shipbuilding. As you can see, the crane is in a position of lifting some metal, and there you have part of a ship constructed, and that's where, well, it's going to have a look where it would roll forward. So you've got the big pieces of metal, you've got various chains, and um, there's a piece of sheet metal being rolled there. It's like a museum on a roundabout, except unless you're silly enough like me to risk your life crossing and um, you're probably not going to come visit it but I thought it looked too good not to come visit it. The tram line, the Almada Metro is just over there um, so that's how I discovered this place. It's also a railway line not far away as in an operational railway line so this is where the ship would roll forward once it's been constructed. It's I don't suppose they constructed them up here, so halfway up a hill, but they must have built ships perhaps down by the riverside, so I think that's probably why they decided to put this display here. But let's go back and have a look at the steam crane, because that is um, quite an exciting find. British built I'm pretty sure it is Iberian gauge, so obviously, oh, there's a, as you can see over there, there's a train just crossing the bridge, double decker EMU. So I'm going to probably use to get back to Lisbon. 
over there so there's some um, propellers. So back to the steam metal. I'm pretty sure this track to me looks wider than four foot eight and a half. Well, one, two, three, four, five. That's five of my feet and that's about six inches. So I think we can say it's five foot three. Now can I get up onto the crank? There's It's got a vertical boiler. Um, it looks like, I think you pre drive it from the other side. Can I get through? I don't know if I'm really supposed to be doing this, but yes, I think the driver of the crane would have stood here. So yeah, here you are, here's all your controls. And imagine, you know, quite dangerous, you know, if your finger got caught in there, you'd lose it. And um, maybe the fireman stood somewhere else. So there's the firebox door just down there. So this whole plate, swings round with the crane. I'm not sure if it can propel itself along the track as well or if the steam engine is purely for the lifting and it had to be moved about by another form of uh, traction. I'm not sure. Though that said, there is also a cylinder on this side so it possibly, because that to me is like a regulator, so possibly it could be, um, could propel itself. Maybe if I get down and have a look underneath I might be able to see. Firebox door is rusted shut. There's a number here. Oh, that must be its number, look. 16385, so I can take number of that. I've got to find out how to get down now. It's higher up than it looks. There's the, the coupling. We have a look underneath. I think looking at that, it possibly could propel itself. If anyone wants to comment and confirm, you are welcome to do so. There's a tram coming now. I need to get back across the roundabout, not to get that tram, because it's going in the wrong direction for what I want. Or shall I walk? Could walk to the next station. I've got an all day ticket, well, I put, I've got a card and I've put four hours on. This tram number. I need a gap in the traffic to get off this roundabout, but I think I'm going to walk the one of these trains on the way. I'm going to walk to the next railway station where tram route 2 starts, so we'll see you now. Bit of a walk that was between those two stops, but we are nearly at the railway station where Route 2 starts, just coming down, this pretty isn't really a way you're supposed to walk on to an Trams are coming, railway line's here. When I was on the tram on my way out, I noticed something quite exciting sitting here. It's big diesel loco. I don't know much about Portuguese diesel locos, but I'm guessing it's probably quite old. Probably, I should be more than 40, maybe even 50 years old. Not even sure what class it is, but it is. Double O and then 0029. So if it's a class 00, zero then there's number 2. But I don't get the whole European number existing, I must admit. I just tend to go by the individual class number. So it seems to be sitting here with a short engineer's train in the siding. But I'm pleased to see that. I don't know how many of them there are. I don't have a Portuguese or Iberian Peninsula spotters book yet. I really should invest in one. Um, that's really because I haven't done that much um, travelling on trains. Oh, oh. <laughs> in um, the Iberian Peninsula. Just fell into that hole. Um, should look where I'm going. So yeah, short engineer's train. Nice old diesel loco. Love to have a trip behind it. I don't suppose I will. There's a tram just now going out of the reversing side Route 2. Now, the question is, do I try and get it? I'm going to have to run. I don't actually feel like running. It is, although it doesn't look it, it's quite hot. It's about 20 degrees today. Sun's not shining, but it's um, for a Brit abroad. It's nice and warm. There's the railway station. There, there's an EMU, double-decker EMU, that was sitting here 45 minutes or so ago. So that must be stable. I'm hoping we'll see a train come along. We get plenty of warning. The railway has a huge curve over the and right over there. So for local train came. 
quite a good video of it, but um, I did see a local hall train crossing the bridge yesterday from a distance, so there are local hall trains on this line, local hall passion trains, that is. As for their diagrams or how frequent they come, I don't know. That tram has now gone, so I've missed that one. I'm going to walk in a reversing siding because I know it's the safest place to walk, considering I shouldn't actually probably be walking on the tram line at all because obviously no tram's going to come from behind me because we're in a siding. So we're in so we're just walking back to the stop and I've now got to wait for another tram on Route 2 to come along and then I'll go to the end of Route 2 which is also a railway station and then I need to do Route 1 back to the main centre then I'll have done the whole network then I'll probably go to the end of Route 2 again and get the train from there back so I'll get to come all through here on the mainline train so we are now Again, I'm not going to go out my way to try and pronounce the names, I'm just going to let you see what it says. There we go. So I've now got to wait for the tram to come along. So this is Almada city centre. It's not touristy at all, it's got lots of tall buildings, lots of older cars, I even spotted a larder. Um, and I like it, it's different, it's not it's completely different to Lisbon. It's it's a real town. It's not trying to put anything on for the tourists. Well, as I said, Lisbon is really pleasant and it's great. It's got you know so many tourists playing a good part in the economy. But this is feels like I'm walking around you know a town that's just as it is. There's sort of nothing too special here, but it's pleasant and um, it's got trams. So yeah, I like it. Almada's good. I've done most of the network now. I've just got to go from here down to the ends of uh, Route 1, where there's a railway station, and then from there I will um, take the train back to Lisbon. I don't know if you can see, but looking down there gives you an idea how high up we are. We, this is the route that goes down to the sea, where we first got on. So we've come up quite a long way from there, climbed up quite high on the tram. So yeah, it's all good fun, and it's, if you do come to Lisbon, the boat ride over is quite fun and the tram systems, you know, quite a nice one to explore. So yeah, this is the centre of Almara. So we've completed the Almada Metro. Or have we? Completed what you can do on a tram, what passengers can do on a tram, but it carries on. And I'm assuming that must go to depot because I've not seen a depot anywhere else from doing the whole system. We came that way from city centre and the lines appear to carry on that way. This is the railway station where I shall get my train back to Lisbon. There's three tracks here, so there's three terminal platforms. There's that one, number 19, sitting there on Route 2. So the lines continue off around there. I'm not entirely sure how far they go to, but the depot I can see the wires stretching off right into the distance, so the depot must be somewhere that way. This appears to be a big car park, car park and ride. There's a tram going off back to the city centre. Just let, just let you watch that go. So the tram is now worth going it's on route two so that'll go to that other railway station now no doubt it'd be a fun thing to do if you got on a tram and a train and both went to that railway station i think the train would probably get there quite a bit quicker so now the tram has disappeared back in that direction i'm going to follow the tram tracks towards the depot to see how far they go i hope it's not too far and i hope one day they open them to the public so we can oh god look at that car there must have been dumped look at the state of it poor old Renault. that car has definitely seen better days shame really anyway it's probably also one of the oldest ones in the car box most of the cars are more sort of more modernish cars 
Um, nothing exciting. I did see a larder earlier, which I was pleased about. So let's follow the tram lines and see where they go. I'm not going to keep this recording going all the way because I don't know how far they go, but I shall certainly show you as far as they go. I hope it's not going to be like six miles or something. Anyway, the tram lines go off over there. I'm going to follow them. I'll let you see what they're like when I get to the end. As you can see by the umbrellas, it's raining now. I might get wetter than I already am. So it's continuing to rain. I'm continuing to follow this tram line, which no passenger trams use, but it is used by trams because, as we pretty much guessed, it was the only way to the depot. So trams, I've seen two trams so far coming along here on their way to the depot. And as I said, it is potentially a future part of the passenger network. And to prove it, look what we have here. I found an abandoned but never opened tram stop. Or as far as I'm aware, it never opened. So it looks like they built this. And obviously the site for the depot was selected right out here. So they had to build this bit of tram line. But yeah, here we have a stop where, you know, Trams pass through, but you can't get on or off trams here. I wonder what would happen if I waited here. The tram driver would stop and pick me up. I somehow think not, but yeah, it's weird. There are some a bit like this in Dublin. On the Lewis, there's some abandoned tram stops, which have trams passing through, but with passengers on. There were just a few stops that were, well, in an area a bit similar like this, almost semi-rural, which they just decided never to use. So yeah, here we are, an abandoned never open tram stop. It'd be nice to think they could perhaps just extend route two so tram stopped here and have one more stop, possibly more at the depot. I hope it's not too much further. Um, we're going to get wetter and wetter. There's the urban area over there that we just come from. Well, there's actually a tram coming now. We can see a tram pass through the abandoned tram stop. And then I'm going to carry on walking in the rain. Number one, the Pioneer Tram. I think we've found the end, or the current non-passenger end of the Almada Metro. That must be the depot. Now if you have a look here, there's a siding. And it looks as if they intended for the line to carry on in that direction, or possibly, I'm not entirely sure, was the passenger line intended to go down there, where the trams go. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk on this bit of track, because it's clear nothing's going to use it. I think I'm possibly now walking along the section of the metro that never opened. And looking down there, and that said, there's quite a long way down there, it almost becomes more railway line like I'm probably better not walk down there so the depot whether it's this huge building here I'm not sure but there's some washing facilities for the trams and it's not the sort of depot normally you can at least see something it's just like completely devoid of being able to see into the depot at all so it looks like my exploration of the Almada metro probably ends here well let's say it ends at the bus stop. Maybe one day, come back, and it'll all be extended and I'll be able to glide down this street further into Portugal that way on a tram. But for now, this is the end of the Almada Metro. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe from the very end of the Almada Metro, the very current end of the Almada Metro. Goodbye.